Hey, what's up YouTube? Matt from the Gold Bros. Coming to you guys with another video today. So, sorry about the little delay in between videos. Got a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. I did just make a big career change. I just started a brand new job and I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that in a different video, but today I'm coming at you guys with a double unboxing video. So, I did get these gloves on Saturday. If you follow our Instagram already, you have seen them, but I'm going to talk about them a lot more in depth in this video than my little caption that I put on Instagram. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to green underscore gloves for this first glove. You guys might know what it is. I'm so excited to get this back in my collection. Uh, let's go with the first one first. Well, this is just the ball I put in there. I forgot I put it in there. And let's go with this for now. And then I'll move this box. All right. So my first glove is the Rawlings Pro Preferred OG Zim with legitimate real gold labels. I'm so excited to get this thing back in my collection. Weston and Noah took care of it for me for a while, and it looks, it feels really good to be back in my hands. Uh, they did use it a little bit, which is totally fine. Got some, you know, wear on the back, stuff like that. That doesn't bother me at all. It's all good character for the glove. I'll be giving it a nice conditioning soon. Give it a full total bath and a little cleanup. But these labels are still perfectly pristine. This is just an amazing glove. I'm really, very, very, very happy to get my collection. It's very sentimental to me. It's my first glove I ever got from Pablo. And um, this is a glove that really got me into glove collecting, glove, whatever you want to call it, whatever we do. Um, this is a glove that got me into it. I always loved this glove. It's one of the first gloves I really saw in a store. I was like, wow, I want to get that. Uh, I never had the money back then to get it. But now I'm fortunate enough through a lot of hard work to uh, be able to afford a glove like this. So... Really, really excited. This thing's gonna go right back on the shelf. Play catch with every so often. But this is gonna be joining my Bryant on the shelf as two of the gloves that are gonna be seeing no action. And I just play catch with them every so often because they're too pretty to be used. Uh, he loosened up the fingers a little bit, so that's why this knot's a little off. I, I tightened it back up because I like a little bit tighter fingers than what he was rocking. So the next glove came in from 812 Glove Crew. I believe that's his name. If not, um, I give him a shout out on my Instagram. So make sure you give him a follow. Uh, fella Brandon. Nice guy. I think it's Brandon or Braden. It's one of those two for sure. This is the Rawlings Pro Preferred PL2 Pro Label 2. Uh, mesh Pro Preferred Deco Mesh, which is my first full Deco Mesh Pro Preferred I've ever had. Uh, Marco had a Deco Mesh hard, hard to hide way back in the day. The OG Deco Mesh. Uh, it was like a basketball pitcher's glove. Very, very nice glove. Um, this thing is phenomenal. 1175 Pro S205-6 CM. And then this one was Pro 200 S2, Pro S200-6K. Sorry about that, 12 inch. Uh, you guys probably know about the Zim though. I just want to talk a little bit more about this one. I played catch with yesterday, so it's, you know, a little bit of wear already. Uh, this glove I'm just going to be playing some catch with. Just glove I wanted to add in my collection. Uh, hands on well. Nice uh, red really pops off on it. Uh, it's rolled welting, red embroidery and everything like that. The red logo looks really cool in the deco mesh. Batards and the thick amount of fur. Very, very thick fur. Um, is this a cut tag? Yeah, it was It was cut already. I didn't know if it had a made in the Philippines tag or not. Which would have been weird because that's what customs have. But um, this glove is just such a looker. I've worn it for a while. Uh, I did give up my Mocha Pro Preferred. The 1175 uh, Crossweb. I'm pretty sure I did a video on that already, so you guys did see it. But uh, this thing is sweet. This thing is tight as all heck. I don't know why it's so tight. It is a very, very tight-fitting glove, like, in the hand. Uh, maybe I'll go in and open it up. But I know when the once the Deco Mesh breaks in, it's going to be super sweet. I'm holding a traditional. Just played some catch with it last night. The glove's just going to be kind of around. I uh, would never use this in a game or anything. It's too small for my taste. Um, just... A glove I wanted to have. Marco hasn't been playing a lot of short. And um, so we decided to move that glove. Um, he, he does play short when he's not pitching. He's pitching a lot more than he's playing short. And now we got the Machado, which happens to be right here anyway. Um, he's been using this in games. Uh, he likes the 12 inch over the 11.7. And this is uh, much more broken than that other glove was. The other glove is still very, very stiff. And it didn't break in um, very much at all. He was just kind of jump right into using it and um so i decided to move it for this and i'm ecstatic with it i've been wanting one of these as soon as they came out we went to a local um store 
that had one and I put my hand in it and I said, yep, I need this. I need to get it. It's so comfortable. The double, you know, the double lined uh, thumb is very nice. You guys can catch that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, glove overall is just super, super sweet. The red and black combo looks great. Just been always a nice fan of that combo. These are team colors, but since I'm not using the game, I don't really care. It's just a cool colorway. And um, yeah, shout out to them. Good guys. Uh, we had a little miscommunication on our deal and we worked through it instantly, which is awesome because there's nothing worse than, you know, fighting with somebody through text and we had a little hiccup. We worked right through it. Really, really good guys. Uh, I know someone else runs the account with him. Uh, I know it's personal. I don't know if he wants me to put it out there, so I won't, but, uh, really good guys over there and, uh, I'll link them in the description if, uh, if you don't follow my Instagram, you saw it on there, but that blonde pom. Already getting a little dirty, which you know it's okay. I plan to play a lot of catch with this glove. Probably use this as my warm up glove for uh, if we're playing on like a nice turf field. If I'm playing third or something, uh, I think we just got we played on a turf field this week for amateur, and they're trying to make this our home field for the rest of the year. So hopefully that works out because now with the high school seasons being over around here, a lot more fields open up. So we had one home field, but if we could switch to a turf, that'd be dope. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Stay tuned. Um, a lot more gloves uh, coming up soon. Some stuff you guys haven't seen yet. Uh, I'm going to be posting a lot of videos, a lot, a lot of videos. Got to get this channel to 1K as soon as possible. Uh, we got to start uh, start growing a lot. Then once I have another custom coming in soon, um, waiting any day now to get the message that it should be here. So uh, once that comes in, I'm going to be doing a full collection video. And I'll also be doing uh, What's in My Bag videos for Marco and myself. So I'll have him pack the bag like he normally does. And I'll pack the bag like I normally do. And I'll do separate videos on each. And uh, So stay tuned, guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Drop any video ideas that you have. And until next time, have a good day.